I'm just going to say it. We're all thinking it. Winter sucks in Alaska. Now, I might be a little biased because I'm kind of a warm-blooded person just in general. I know that sounds weird being the Alaska realtor and saying that. It is just the cold hard truth. I'm a little bit more warm-blooded than what you would think and... You know, with that being the case, I've had to really kind of develop a um, kind of a plan and a strategy on how to make the, the time in Alaska go by a little bit quicker during those cold and wintry months out of the year. So we're going to be talking about those today. Before we get started, though, again, I'm sure you probably know by now, but my name's Jamin. I'm an associate real estate broker in the state of Alaska, and my mission is to help you to build an intentional and significant legacy for yourself and your family by coaching you in real estate. So without further ado, though, let's go and jump into today's video talking about how to make the time during the winter time go by faster if winter is just not your jam to begin with. Now what I'm going to give you is just a list of things that you can do that are going to be activities and designed to, to kind of make things a little bit funner for you and it, not necessarily something that's going to be huge or expensive just kind of some daily things you can do that are going to make the time go by a little bit quicker and the first thing you can do is get into a competition with a number of people to see who can get the best most epic northern light pictures and have people on social media you know vote on it and decide who's got the best northern lights picture all right, the next thing I would say, and this one would cost a little bit of money, but get into like skiing, snowboarding, you know, all those winter activities. You can do the cross country skiing and that's actually fairly inexpensive and there's a lot of great coastal trails and trails in like Kincaid Park in Anchorage, or you can go to like the Arch Angel over in Palmer, you know, or you can go to like the Chugiak uh, cross country trails over in the Chugiak High School. Um, that's also, that's probably my favorite place to go. So. Yeah, there's some good options there. A little bit more spendy, but also, you know, it's a very winter specific activity and it will keep you active. Third thing that you can do to kind of get out there and just get something else to, to do to kind of break up the routine is to go to the Tour of Lights over in Anchorage. Now, this is a yearly event that they'll put on. I think it's usually around like December, maybe a little bit in January as well, but it's going to be this little walking tour you can go and do of um, the lights over in Anchorage and you're, it's, you know, awesome because it kind of has this winter wonderland kind of vibe to it. And they've got, you know, the lights really well lit as you're walking through this forest. So it's a great little light tour and gives you something you can kind of use to, to break up the monotony. And I think it's only like 20 bucks or something like that. Another very specific Alaskan activity slash event that you can do is Fur Run Day. And what Fur Run Day is closer to like the March, February, springtime kind of a time frame. But this is where you start having a lot of very Alaska specific events like running with the reindeer or I think it's like the outhouse sprint <laughs> and just a lot of like really goofy events and, um, you know, fun activities that will get you out there to just kind of rub shoulders with people and kind of see all the uh, Alaska specific vendors that are out there selling stuff and you know kind of look at their arts and crafts and everything so it's a great event and if you haven't been like you really owe it to yourself to go check it out and they also do have well ceremonial start of the idea to rod during that as well Let's take a break here real quick. If you've been watching for a while, you do know that I host a podcast called the Alaskan Journey Podcast. You should definitely go listen to it. It's all about moving to Alaska from people who have actually moved to Alaska recently. So make sure that you go check that out. It is going to be a great opportunity to kind of hear about what it's like living in Alaska. Yeah, you definitely want to go check that out. Also, if you're looking at moving up here in the near future, you want a copy of the relocation guide that I have, do go to my website. The link for that is in the description section down below. Go ahead and register there and put relocation guide in the comments section so I know what to send you. And obviously the link to the podcast is going to be in the description section down below as well. Now, let's go and finish up today's video. All right, now this next one, I'm going to be up front. I've never done it. It looks like it would be, um, I guess, fun. Um, I'm going to say new and different and probably something not a whole lot of people have done. So it's going to be pretty mentally engaging. And that is ice climbing. And what this, I mean, I've seen a lot of this happen like around like the Valdez area. But essentially you have like a frozen waterfall and they've got like their, I'm not sure if I'm going to get the right terms here, but like the, the clamp-ons, the ice picks and everything. And they just climb right on up this waterfall. And, you know, it looks interesting. I don't know if I would do it, but it looks fun. Go ahead and do it. Let me know what you think afterwards. 
Another activity you can do, and this is going to be more of like a regular weekly kind of a thing, and that's where you can actually get into like jiu-jitsu or get into rock climbing, you know, or both, you know, depending on how much time you have. But just uh, something like that is going to keep you very mentally focus because you know while you're sparring and like jiu-jitsu specifically you don't have any opportunity to be distracted thinking about anything else it is all just very second to second very very present kind of a thing and you know actually i would say the same thing for rock climbing you really do not have a whole lot of time to be distracted when you're about 30 40 feet up into the air and like the next hold is like gonna be a jump for you or something like that so yeah those are great activities they're out there and use them all right, the seventh thing on this list is really stay on top of your workout routine and your diet. You know, if you're not already working out a lot and you don't have a diet that's kind of geared to make sure that you're as healthy as possible, you might want to go and adapt one of those just to make sure you are like operating on full cylinders because it is going to be a pretty bad spiral to the bottom if you know you're dealing with like a lot of seasonal effectiveness disorder and you know also like you've got like the high blood pressure and you've got all this other stuff just from not working out and not eating very well so make sure you set yourself up for success and at least make sure that you're getting into the gym or you're going running or you're doing some kind of workout designed to kind of get your heart pumping a little bit and challenge yourself physically and emotionally because I mean for some of us during the winter time you need all the help that you can possibly get so take advantage. Last but not least I'm going to say do all the stuff in this list that I just gave you and also plan a trip to go somewhere sunny after Christmas. Okay now I'm very specific sunny after Christmas because during the holiday season you've got Christmas to look forward to and I mean that's great and you're excited to have that right around the corner and it's something you're anticipating and even if you're not a little kid anymore you know you're still happy for Christmas to be right around the corner and for New Year's and as soon as the holidays are done though like you're just sitting there and looking at the calendar and there is nothing really to look forward to for about five months until the breakup season so make sure you give yourself something to look forward to that can be going down to Arizona Florida um, Hawaii wherever but give yourself something in the calendar scheduled between Christmas and that breakup during the springtime that you can look forward to and that is really gonna help you out a lot mentally so what do you think? What other activities or routines would you put on here to really help people as they're um, navigating their first winters? Make sure to drop those down below. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.